So I just want to do a little demo to show you guys how we get hot water from our Jilka, which is outside, to our inside shower here and to our sink as well. Before I start, I just want to say it might be a little bit confusing because we are using John Guest hoses throughout our plumbing and at the time of fitting it all, they didn't always have the right colours in stock. So we do use blue hose sometimes when it should be red. It might be confusing for you. For us, we're just used to it now so we know where everything goes and where it's all running to. But I'll do my best to explain and if you have any questions or something's confusing, please just let me know and I'll explain it all because we had no idea how to do any of this at the start and we wish that someone had this sort of explanation video. So if it doesn't make sense, let me know. I really want to help you guys out um, because I know a lot of you want to have an inside shower using your jewel cut outside. Cool. So I'll start by showing you the inside setup. Um, it is a little bit messy as well because we still need to saddle things away. We've only just finished getting it all um, put in and set up and running perfectly. Um, so excuse the mess. Okay, so this is the pump, obviously. It pumps straight from the tank up through these John Guest fittings. So we've got an elbow here straight up into a non-return valve so you don't get water coming back down into your pump. Um, the water then travels up and we've made a little bit of a long run for it to go up into any of the sink or the shower or the dual car because we have this um what do you call this water tank gauge that reads how much water is in your tank and it needs to be situated a certain distance from the pump so we've had to create this little bit of a run here so that's all that is so the water comes up from out of the pump and then it goes into this y piece here and it can go up into the cold water of the tap here so that's just your cold water you can just turn that on like so and then from there it can go down into this part of the Y piece here I'll explain why we have these taps on in a minute um, so then it can go down into this Y piece here which goes to the dual car so you can't just run a line from your water tank to your Julka because there's no pressure like it, we've tried it <laughs> we didn't think that it would um, need pressure for some reason and we realized the hard way that yes you're going to need a pump if you don't use the Julka pump that it comes with you're going to need a pump to pump the water into the Julka so our water comes up through here and can go to the cold water tap or down into the Julka to make hot water so when we're pumping to the dual car, we turn this tap off because we don't want water going up into the cold water tap when we're trying to pump to the dual car, if that makes sense. So water comes up here, cold water, hot water, and vice versa. So when we're using the cold water tap, we'll shut this dual car tap off here so we're not getting water running to the dual car when we don't need it. So this line here runs underneath the bus to the dual car. And I'll go back there and show you now how that works. And once again, this is all quite messy. We're not fully finished with it, but this is the hose here that we we're just talking about. So it comes from the sink cupboard, from the pump up into the Julka inlet here. And then this is our outlet. So to get the water back inside, we just use the dual hose that it comes with, as well as some air hose fittings. These are quick connect, and they just shove straight into this. It's a perfect size. So then we have these two here, um, air hose fittings that you plug them into. So this one here is for the hot water in the sink. We don't really use it that much. We usually just wash up with cold water. Um, but then this one is your shower. So what you'll do is, that just plugs straight into there. So your water outlet comes down, plug the air hose fitting in, you wanna have a shower, boom, turn the gas on. And then you go back inside. I think I've explained everything out here. Yep, so water inlet coming from the pump, water outlet. So once you plug that in, you just go back in. And then you would flick the switch on 
um, and you would turn off, make sure this is turned off first because you don't want to send any water back up into here, um, into your cold water tap or anything. So where we plugged that air hose fitting in at the back there for the shower, that runs up through this, pretend this is red, I know it's blue, runs up through here and that goes in the wall to our shower. Does that make sense? I really hope it does. Um, so then you've got hot water coming in from the dual car and I can't show you because it's in behind the wall, which is really annoying, but we were just mind boggled at how you would connect a John Guest hose to a inside um, shower connection, but you'll be surprised. They actually have all of these fittings at like RTM and Bunnings and everything like that. So don't be afraid of using John Guest hoses with, you know, household showers because they actually do fit. Um, and if anyone's confused about which ones to use to get them to connect, just send me a message because I'll find the links and send you the exact ones that you need. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And then it's the same with the hot water sink as well. If you wanted to wash up with hot water, you would plug the air hose fitting not into the shower one at the back. You would plug it into the sink um, and then it would run up through this hose here. That's your red one. And then you would get hot water from the sink. And look, we know there probably, probably would have been easier to run one line and just put one of these in, you know, just split off to the shower and split off to the sink. But we are complete amateurs and we didn't think of that at the time and we'd already run these hoses. So now they're just separate and it really is just as easy just to plug the air hose fitting into each one if you want to use the other one. So I really hope that makes sense. <laughs> and if it doesn't, please ask any questions that you might have. Um, and I'm sorry that it's all messy at the moment. We will be saddling this all away and making it look beautiful. And I'll refer back to this and post the photos to show you. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um, and I'll put a little video underneath this one of the shower running to show you the pressure as well and prove to you that it works. <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. I hope this helps you out.